Alright, welcome to the quick quiz sa ating topic na permutations with conditions. We talked about the concept and paano ito isolve in another video. If you haven't seen that yet, don't forget to click dun sa i button dito sa upper right hand corner. If you're watching this on YouTube, para mapanood nyo muna yun. It'll be a lot trickier kung papanoodin nyo tong video na to, sasagutin nyo yung quiz without actually learning the concept. Okay, so you can just pause this and then go back na lang. Now, if you want more of these math, language, logic lessons and uh, motivational videos na rin, don't forget to hit subscribe and hit the bell icon para malaman ninyo as soon as new video posts. Again, this part, uh, this video right here is just part of a series na combination permutation. Second part pa lang tayo. There are more of these coming up. So if you don't want to miss that, don't forget to hit subscribe. Okay? Now, uh, what will happen here is I'm going to give you three different questions using yung concept ng permutations with conditions. And then I'll give you two minutes per question. And then at the very end of the video, I'm going to discuss how to solve it and kung ano yung tamang sagot. Alright? So if you're ready, let's do this.
All right, let's see how you did. Okay, isa-isay natin siya. Let's start with the first question. Sabi dito, in how many ways can the letters from the word pride be arranged to form a three-letter word with only the middle letter being a vowel? Okay, so yung pride ang pagkukunan natin. We have five letters right here. Tapos yan ang options natin dun sa bubuoy nating bagong three-letter word. Now, a uh, good thing to note would be this. Sa actual exam, pag sinabing three-letter word, hindi necessary na coherent siya or hindi necessary na may ibig sabihin yung word na yon. Common mistake kasi may mga tao na isulat nila dip. Ano pa ba? Dip, uh, read. Iisa-isay nila lahat ng alam nilang words na mabubuo yun. No. Sa case ng mathematics, kahit words na, kahit na combinations na wala namang sense like dear, ayan, D-I-R, Diba? Short for directory. Yung ganyan, hindi naman necessary niya. It makes sense. So, kahit peer, pwede rin. Alam ko, walang word na ganyan. Dep, walang ganyan. Pero, sa case ng math na question, counted pa rin niya na sa three-letter word. Okay? Whether meron talagang actual word na ganun or wala. Now, now that we know that, we can move on to the solution. So, so you have a three-letter word. Three seats ang ilalagay natin. One, two, three. Okay? Now, babalikan natin yung tanong. Sabi dito, yung three-letter word mo daw, the middle has to be a vowel. Okay? And itong dalawa, dapat hindi sila vowel. Kasi only, sabi, only the middle letter being a vowel. Now, bakit yun importante? Kasi, kung pwede rin dito ang vowel sa gilid, mag-iiba ka ng options. Marami kang mapagpipilian. So, anong ibig sabihin nun? Ang gagawin natin dito, kailangan dito, specifically, consonant lang ang ilalagay mo. Okay, now, first seat, you have ilang consonants ang pwedeng umupo. You have one, two, three. Three options. So, you put three here. Again, bakit hindi five? Kasi kailangan consonant yung nauuna. Dito sa pangalawang upuan, vowel ang hinahanap. So, you have I and E. Dalawa ang pinagpipilian mo. So, this will be two. And then, dito sa huling-huli, okay, dahil we're talking about arranging letters, right? To form a three-letter word. Ito, in this case, you have to assume na hindi ka pwede mag-ulit ng letter kasi nga, nilagay mo na siya doon. Okay? Kunyari, nilagay mo na yung P dyan, hindi mo na pwede ilagay yung P uli doon. Dahil wala ng ibang P, kundi isang P lang. So, in this case, ang nalagay mo rin dito is 2 kasi ang assumption would be may isa ng consonant na umupo dito. So, may isa ka ng consonant, isa dito. Okay? Kaya ang nahanap mo na lang dito would be the other two consonants na natira maliban doon sa nilagay mo dito sa unang upuan. Okay, so this will be 3 times 2 times 2. 6 times 2 is 12. So you have 12 three letter words ang mapupuno mo. Okay? Next, sabi how many three digit odd numbers can be formed from the digit 0 to 9 if the numbers can be repeated. Now, the first debate here would be this. Kapag ang number ba nags start with 0, is that still a three digit number? Okay? Now, sa case ng locks, okay, ibig sabihin kandado, itong 0, 1, 2 is a valid option. Diba? Kung yan, meron kayong luggage, diba? Nagalagay tayo ng mga codes doon na number. Pwede mo piliin yung 0 na nauuna. Pero when we're talking about 3-digit numbers, dahil ang 0, 1, 2 is not technically a 3-digit number, kasi hindi naman natin sinusulat yung 0 na nauuna, diba? 2-digit number lang yung 12. Ang kailangan, ang requirement mo, dapat, the first digit, dun sa ating 1, 2, 3, first digit, dapat, ang options mo lang are numbers 1 to 9. Okay? So, instead of picking from 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, instead of picking 1 out of 10, dito sa unang digit, ang lalagay natin 9 lang. Kasi 9 lang ang pwedeng maging first digit. Pag nilagay mo kasi yung 0, magiging 2-digit number na lang din siya. So, here you put 9. Tapos, Sabi dito, kailangan daw, okay, odd numbers. Three-digit siya number at odd siya dapat. Now, paano mo ba gagawing odd ang isang number? Malalaman mo kung odd ang number depende sa last digit. Ang last digit niya dapat odd. Okay? It will be an odd number kahit ilang digit pa yan, 9-digit number, 11-digit number, 2-digit number. Magiging odd number siya kapag ang last digit or yung pinakahuling digit niya ay isang odd number. So, ibig sabihin nun, maliba sa condition natin sa unang digit na hindi pwede ang 0, umupo doon. Dito, ang importante dito, dapat odd number ang last digit mo. Okay? Now, dito sa digit sa gitna, 
dahil naman the numbers can be repeated, uh, pinagpipili mo sa gitna, magiging 10. Bakit 10? Kasi pwede mo nang ilagay yung 0 sa gitna. For example, ang number na 102 is still a 3-digit number pa rin kahit na yung 0 ay nasa gitna. Actually, yung 0 pwede mo ilagay sa gitna at saka sa dulo, like 100, 3-digit number pa rin yan. Hindi mo lang pwede ilagay sa simula kasi ang 001 will be 1 that is no longer a 3-digit number. Okay? Yun lang ibig sabihin nun. So, dito 10 ang pinagpipilian mo. Pagdating natin sa third, dapat odd number ang dulo. So, out of this lineup na 10 digits, ang meron ka lang na odd ay 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, dahil lima lang ang odd digits sa choices, you put 5 here. So, the answer would be 9 times 10 or 90 times 5. That is 450 na numbers ang mabubuo mo. Using that, at dapat odd yung last digit or odd three-digit no number siya. Okay? So, hindi, again, hindi siya pwede maging 10 kasi kung 10, masasama mo yung mga even numbers. Hindi siya pwede maging 10 kasi pag tinan mo to masasama yung 0. Ang pwede mo lang lagay na 10 ay yung nasa gitna. Alright? I hope you got that right. Number 3. Ito. Exciting. A restaurant menu has 8 appetizer options, 6 main course options, and 4 dessert options. So again, appetizer mo, meron kang uh, walo. Sa main course, you have 6, and then sa dessert mo, you have 4 options. Now, sabi if half of the options per course, ibig sabihin, ang vegetarian option, dito ay 4, dito ay 3, dito ay 2, yan ay yung mga vegetarian, yung iba. May mga meat products na, no? If half of the options per course are vegan, how many complete vegan meal sets can you form? So, pag sinabing complete, ibig sabihin meron kang isang appetizer, isang main course, isang dessert. Ito yung appetizer mo, main course, and your dessert. Ilan daw vegan sets ang pwede mong mabuo? Now, dito, dahil ang hinahan natin dapat vegetarian siya, so sa una, ang appetizer mo pinagpipilian ay apat, Ang main course mo, pinagpipilian, tatlo na lang. And then, yung iyong dessert ay two. Kasi hindi mo naman pwede i-dessert yung appetizer, no? Unless Pilipino ka. Tayo, mahilig tayo na ganun, eh. Yung appetizer, sineserve na kasabay na ng main course, saka ng dessert. Labo-labo na, basta sama-sama nang sineserve, no? Pero sa Western context, talagang, ano sila dyan? Very strict sila dyan, no? Yung appetizer mo na i-serve, pagkatas mo sa appetizer mo, kung whether it's soup or mga hors d'oeuvres lang, mga kung ano-ano lang dyan, pika-pika, chicken wings, ganyan, counted pa rin yung appetizer, and then before your main course. Pero, kaya ganito yung setup niya. So, 4 times 3 times 2. You have 12 times 2 or 24 sets. Okay? Now, kung, again, kung pinagpipilian mo, hindi naman kailangan vegan, that would be 8 times 6 times 4. Pero dahil may restriction, dapat vegan, naging 4 times 3 times 2 na lang siya. Kaya nga, again, ang importante to analysis, common sense. Okay? Intindihin ang tanong, tagalugin kung kinakailangan para makuha niya siya ng tama. Alright? And if you want more exercises like this, don't forget to follow me on my Facebook um, uh, account. You can go to www.facebook.com slash teamlika for more of these. Because every lunch break, I try to post at least one new question. And also join your ating Facebook group, uh, Team Like a Review group on Facebook for more questions. Alright? Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, don't forget to like. If you like this video, share this with your friends. Lalo na kung exam din sila para mas palamin tayong matulungan. And subscribe if you haven't yet. Hit the bell icon para wala kayong ma-miss. There are more of these coming up. Never stop learning. Kaya niyan. Adja, adja. I'll see you in my next video. And bye for now.